So, Ryan Jim, it's been a while since you last fought. How was your week recovery from from the injury you you sustained in your in your last fight? Yeah, the recovery was great. Um, I uh, was recovered probably about like you know four to six months ago. Um, it was a you know pretty uh, clean break, so it was a good recovery. My body feels great. Um, I had a couple other things I want to take care of before I return to fighting, like put some of the places of my life in place um, and set up a couple other of my chess pieces so that when I return to fighting, I have a, a good uh, foundation to launch off of. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you think this layoff, this, this long layoff, is gonna be an issue tomorrow? Um, I've done it more than a few times before, where I had like a longer layoff and I came back. You know, not really, you know, a lot of ring rust. We'll see. Um, I mean, I fought before, like, a couple weeks on top of each other, you know, and I had ring rust there and I felt worse there as opposed to sometimes I had, like, an 11-month layoff. So um, it's really impossible to tell until you get in there. I've trained very hard. I've uh, prepared very, very, very thoroughly. And, uh, you know, I, I feel good about this fight. What have you learned uh, at that fight against OSP? Um, OSP... Um, I think I just need to be more aggressive, more active. You know, I have uh, some pretty powerful striking, obviously, in, in, in my record and in my, in my work uh, that's, that I've left behind me. Um, I just need to start using it more. I just uh, need to get busier and uh, take more control of the fights. Professor Mabahoso told me that he, he expects you to, to stay, uh, to keep this, this, this fight standing and that he has a better striking game than uh, com com compared to, to, to yours yeah. and that he, you, are, you are going down if you decide to trade punches with him. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, I think uh, that's just him talking and uh, I think if you look at our, our body of work um, you can tell that that's obviously a fallacious statement and um, we'll, uh, we'll have, uh, have a little fun on Saturday night. What do you, how do you see this, this, this game and this matchup? Um, you know, Francis does like to throw. I mean, uh, he has some good wall wrestling. I think uh, he's going to start try to take me down um, after I start picking him apart. And I have pretty good wrestling and good scrambling ability. So, um, you know, whatever he wants to do, I'll, uh, I'll beat him at it. Uh, the UFC just crowned an, an, a new champion in this division. Uh, do you see Daniel Cormier as uh, being the uh, um, champion for, for a long time, or do you think uh, maybe his next fight against Ryan Bader, maybe he's, he's, he's probably getting the, the, the next shot, he will lose it, the title. Do, do, you, do you see the belt change hands? Well, I, I might have a little bit of a biased uh, intention here because uh, Ryan Bader is my training partner. So I, I, I don't think Daniel Cormier keeps I think Ryan Bader will beat him. Um, I think... Uh, I think other guys have done better against John Jones than Daniel Cormier has, and I, I don't think he keeps that belt for very long. He he, he kind of got it on a, on I'm not going to say luck because obviously he just took control of that opportunity, but uh, you know it, he's not the rightful heir so far. If that makes sense. How does he better beat him? Um, I think I think he. Uh, he can stop his wrestling, and I think his striking has really improved, and he's got an incredible amount of endurance. You know, I think Bader is actually a better athlete. You know, Dan Cormier has done better uh, on the wrestling circuit, but I actually think Bader um, is probably a better athlete, a little bit stronger, a little bit uh, more of a physical test um, than what Daniel Cormier would be. So I think he beats him. And how did you see, did, did you see the UFC decision to, to strip John Jones for everything that happened outside the, the octagon? It's a difficult situation. Um, other athletes in other sports have done sometimes worse or, or as bad, not gotten as much. Um, I don't think we're at that point, or it's not a team sport, so individuals stand out a little bit more, and his individual actions uh, were quite prominent. And, and, and it's not like it's a, a one-time offense. This has been something that has been uh, obviously a problem in his life. So I think it was probably the proper decision. They needed to make a statement with him, and uh, it's probably proper they did. Maybe a little bit wrong that um, they don't have a system in place that actually says on first offense you get this. So I think there's a little bit more of a social infrastructure that the, maybe the UFC needs to put in place. So it's not so much on a on a whim of who uh, how they feel, but that particular guy at the time. But uh, I think it was probably a correct decision. Thank you.